Curtis Bryant, compose, the composer who's local as well, is fulfilling that mission. I'm singing something somewhere every week. I think for us, the young singers aspect of learning how to be in an opera company is important. We've had singers who've come through, done roles with us, and now they're doing minor roles at the Atlanta Opera. down here and uh, made some contacts uh, within um, the Atlanta Opera and Capital City Opera. I got connected with one of the coaches at the Atlanta Opera and he got me some auditions and I started working with the Ar Atlanta Opera Artist Studio there. And so I was doing a lot of their outreach stuff and then I started working with Capital City Opera and I started doing their, their operas. And so, you know, I've been really pretty busy. I started teaching you start making friends and then you know it's through friends how I've gotten involved with everything and doing some small gigs for other companies and and now it's you know so it's all through through who you know if you know the right people and you and you just put yourself out there you know you earn a reputation and, and if you're a good colleague and you you know go in knowing your stuff people will people will want you to, to do things with them chaotic but um, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time I like directing new works it's always an experience I'm always willing to try something new you can make it your own you don't have anybody that you can compare it to so therefore you can be very organic obviously and not have anybody in the back of your mind you're not forced to reference uh, someone who's, who's played the role before you know, it's it's yours. It's yours to create and to delve into, and it's re it's really really liberating. You have to build your own foundation, and that can be scary but rewarding at the same time. You can take it to the next level. You can make your own character. It's all you. So you kind of have to lean on yourself a little bit and trust yourself that you know what you're doing. Well, 2004 was when I got the libretto <clears throat> from Alan Reichman. Uh, Alan said, you know, we w we must have a, a reference to Tosca. And um, as I said, okay, I can do that, but we're getting rid of, the, we're not having a ferry boat. She's going to jump off the train. So, so I, that's my Anna Karenina moment there. And those first uh, about uh, 11, 12 notes are actually the same Tosca theme, but they're all evenly spaced out. So you don't hear it, but the pitches are there. With a new work, everybody is kind of working together as a creative unit. You sound like my new friend Vladimir, just met him this morning. He's screaming for something dramatic, can tell you more right now, it would be too risky to discuss. Uh, he's been he's been a, a great guy to work with. I'm Curtis Bryant, and I'm the composer of The Secret Agent. I just got this email from somebody I'd never heard of, um, uh, <laughs> saying he had a libretto he'd like me to look at. I said, "Well, you know, send it down." And and the the idea in writing an opera is you want to cover all of the major vo uh, voice types.
composer has composed an opera, they do have in their mind what they believe is going to be happening on stage. Well, I have a vision of what I think is happening and what the music they've given us is telling the singers and the actors what they're supposed to be doing. It's a little bit of pressure for me because I'm afraid if I mess something up or you know, if I sing the wrong note, or he's there like, you know, I didn't write that. At the same time, I feel like it's good in that if I have any questions, if I don't understand something, there he is. I can say, what were you thinking when you wrote this? It's a very hands-on experience for both parties. He looks so excited to be here and, and so uh, grateful for us being up on stage, which is always a great thing. That is the greatest high there is, is to, is to, to see your and hear your, your ideas you know, come into existence. When did you put the mattresses on? Because I didn't see them come on and I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I know, because I was like, I was like, I think the lights are up, and I was like, they're covered in this. <laughs> they're covered in this. <laughs> Brilliant. I met Catherine, uh, the Gail, the, uh, the, um, music director <laughs> and um, through, through some mutual friends and she was wanting me to do the light side uh, fundraiser for Capital City Opera and um, uh, I did that and that's when I heard about The Secret Agent and that's when I auditioned for it. There's a, a realness about this story and the modernness of how it's taking place. It's not a story from 200 years ago. And, well, it's kind of timeless if you really want to go with, you know, the way these, what these people are dealing with. Yes, great. Um, Winnie, make sure that you place the compass upstage of Verloc's arm. So it's at the corner of the stage, upstage. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. They sent me the script and heard the music, and I um, just started, you know, toying with it, and I told him probably back in January that I think I was going to be interested in my first voice lesson that I ever took was in college, my freshman year of college, and it just, it just kind of blossomed from there. I dropped my music education major and decided to be a vocal performance major, and it just kind of grew from there. I started listening to opera, started, I loved it, it was amazing. I could, all these people that, you know, sang these huge voices without any microphones or anything, sang with orchestras and, and acted on stage, and it just mesmerized me, and I was like, this is what I gotta do. So I'll be there going, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, we yeah, we got. We've we, we we talked about that. We'll, we'll, we'll be there. <laughs>